Hey, what's up guys? This is Teacher Ben. I'm coming to you live from my living room. Um, yeah, I want to I want to give you uh, one speech here uh, before I go to bed. Uh, this one is uh, uh, so why uh, qualifying for the Olympics is not as hard as what you would think. Okay, so um, let me give you a little background on, on the pretense of my speech here. Um, when I was in my fifth year of college athletics, um, I was going in to uh, talk to the coach at Kansas State, and I was like, Coach, what do I need to do uh, to be on the team and um, contribute to the team? He goes, he goes, Ben, you need to uh, run uh, 400 meter intervals, and your time should be 65 to 70, if I can remember right. This is 20 years ago. Uh, but he said, your intervals should be 65 to 70. And then you're going for time and a half. Uh, so essentially, if you run the 465, then you take uh, that 60 plus half of it, which is uh, 90. So you rest for 90 seconds. You got to go back with another 65. Okay, so um, when I was crunching the numbers and I was coming up with this idea of uh, talking about how to qualify for the Olympics, I realized uh, what my coach was actually asking of me was if I can could do 65 for every single one of the 400 meters, it would basically put me in contention to qualify for the Olympics. Okay, so uh, why he was pressing me to to run the 400 meter in 65 was that it would, um, if I can remember right, that would give you a conference championship at the Big 12 level. Okay, so uh, basically it's like a 1330, which is about 10 seconds off from what I believe the Olympic qualifying time is, or what's going on at the Olympics. Um, so the guys are running 1320, so a little bit slow, but a 65. So let me break down for you the significance of running the 400 meter in 65. So the idea of the interval training is, is to give yourself a 90 second rest to recuperate and then, and then hit that uh, allotted time again, so that your body becomes used to running uh, 400 meters at 65 seconds. And essentially you do it 12 times because that's the 5K length. Okay, so that would give you a 420 mile. Okay, so which is a, which is um, the low end of what uh, would be a quality division one time for the mile but this is not the mile we're talking about. Okay, this is the 5K. So if you continue at a 420 mile pace, that puts you at the two mile in 840, okay? So that's pretty good. I think that's that's relatively decent time for a two mile, 840. I think some guys were going 730, but uh, okay, so you're at the two mile in 840. Now you continue to hit this 420 pace because it's what you practiced at. You know, you've been running uh, quarter mile intervals at 65 seconds. Okay, so you're going to run another 420. That gives you nine, and nine is the 20 seconds, and you add four minutes, gives you 13 flat. Now you've got to run a 200. Let's say you run the 200. I typically give myself 30 seconds to run a 200. It's usually the end of the race. You should be probably uh, finishing strong. So uh, let's say you run a, a 30, which would be a 60 second quarter. Okay, so that's a pretty good uh, 200. Let's say you run a 30, okay? Or let's say you run a 35. That's slow, that's really slow. So you end up with 1335. So what I realized is, you know, my coach was essentially giving me this really hard standard uh, to live up to, you know, essentially like, you know, you've been kind of uh, 
doing the very minimum of what a Division One athlete should be doing. It is your senior year. It's time for you uh, to start producing. And and the standard he he gave me was actually the Olympic qualifying time. So uh, let me let me break down for you. Um, and at Kansas State, we never did uh, a workout so intense uh, because we would do quarter mile intervals times 12, 65 second quarters gets you in the Olympics. Um, so how hard is it to run a 65 second quarter mile? It's quite easy. Uh, so, um, some of the Olympians are running the quarter mile in 42. Um, now, uh, other guys at the division one level are maybe running 46, I think 45, 44, uh, 47 is okay. Um, so for you to run a 65, you're 20 seconds behind what the division one guys are doing for their 400 meter sprint. Now, when I was in graduate school, I was actually postgraduate school. I did run the, uh, 400 meter in 56. So 65 is doable. Okay. But you got to do 12 of them. Okay. So when I was at Kansas state, I would usually run that 65 and I'd be hosed. Okay. But, uh, um, that lets you know that, that if I can run a 65 for one, we just need to add 11 of them onto that. So, um, so let me, let me end by saying, I think it's quite doable. And, uh, you know, um, basically if, if you're a division one athlete and you've got, you know, the coaches and the environment and all the athletes around you, um, you should probably get used to running 65 second quarters for the 400. And, uh, that would give you a pretty quality time. Have a nice day. This is teacher Ben. Bye-bye.